everyone, it's Dr. Aaron here, and I am here with our Good Doctors Diagnose episode for Wednesday, September 4th. And for my pop culture short discussion today, I'm going to be talking about the importance and the power of community. And my pop culture reference I'm using is something that Dr. Kristen and I spend a lot of time talking about on our YouTube channel, The Handmaid's Tale. So one of the things that we talk about a lot with the businesses and organizations that we work with is the importance of building a sense of a communal culture where everyone has buy-in, everyone feels seen and heard and validated for who they are authentically. And it's really wonderful to see when this works, what the power of community is able to do. Uh, and in The Handmaid's Tale, we get a couple really great examples of this, particularly because the show is centered around, spoiler alert, I should say, if you haven't watched The Handmaid's Tale and you're planning on watching it, I wouldn't watch the rest of this video. But the show is centered around June, who is our primary protagonist. She is the handmaid of The Handmaid's Tale from Margaret Atwood's novel. Um, and we see the world mostly through June's lens. So there's a huge sense of individualism when it comes to uh, who June is and what her motivations are and how she interacts with this dystopic, theologic, um, theocracy, excuse me, um, super conservative, misogynistic theocracy. Lots of polysyllabic words there for you. Um, but we also get to see this power of community get built into the show, particularly when June finds solidarity uh, and comradeship with the other handmaids in season one and the other, uh, the Marthas, who are the women who take care of the households and the children. Uh, and this really comes to fruition at the end of season three, which just finished a few weeks ago. So, like, it's one of the best lessons that I think this show gives you, even though it's so focused on one main protagonist a lot of times you get these glimpses of what the power of community can do when people work together, when people understand each other. So one of the biggest parts of this is understanding how you work, what you need to work efficiently and effectively, and what others need to work efficiently and effectively. From uh, the environment that you're in, the setup of the office, the way you're working on a group project, um, how a person processes information, what unique skills they bring to a particular situation. All of this is a huge part of building a culture um, that is gonna have a space for everybody to bring their best to the table. And you really start to see this happen in later episodes of The Handmaid's Tale in season three, as these women figure out you know, what they can do to achieve their goal, which I won't spoil for you, um, but how they can work together as a team. So the power of community is the power of teamwork. It's the power of understanding your strengths and weaknesses, your limitations, the strengths, weaknesses, and limitations of the other people you're working with so that you can approach each problem that you're attempting to solve honestly and with this uh, readiness to learn and adapt depending on the circumstances of the team that you're working with. So that is our diagnosis for Wednesday, September 4th. Uh, we will see you again on Monday. Everybody have a great rest of the week.